Alright guys, very welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the top must visit world heritage site in Kathmandu city. Swimbunath Stupa is one of the oldest monuments in Nepal, with its origin being tied to the origin of Kathmandu Valley itself. Historicals, records and inscriptions have traced the origins of this stupa complex as far back 1500 years ago while religious myth and stories go even further. It is said that Swaimbunath, literally meaning self-sprung, was formed after the lake dried out and gave rise to the current valley, which is the Kathmandu Valley. This hilltop stupa is an amazing mixture of Hindu shrines and Buddhist stupa, two forms of architectures coexisting in harmony. It is said that there are 365 steps on the stairs that lead up to Swaimbunath. Aside from being a holy location for Hindus as well as Buddhists, the ideal locations also mean the view overlooking most of the Kathmandu Valley is super from here. Pasupati Nath Temple is one of the most sacred Hindu temple in the world. Pasupati Nath is an old temple dedicated to Lord Shiva. The temple complex consists of the main temple and compound, surrounded by a variety of smaller temples, ashrams and sculptures, and it bordered by the holy Bhagmati rivers to the east. Entry to the main temple is allowed only for Hindus, but everyone is free to absorb from the hill beside the Bhagmati river banks. Observing the various rituals, ceremony as well as funerals is a fascinating experience for tourists. A testament to the importance of this temple is the sheer amount of pilgrims it attracts, particularly during the holy occasions like these and Sibaratri where visitors numbers to hundreds and thousands in a single day. If Pasupatinath is the holiest Hindu temple in Kathmandu, then its Buddhist counterpart has to be in Bodhanath Stupa. There are a number of Newar as well as Tibetan Buddhist myths and legends surrounding this amazing stupa's origin. While some records state that it was built by Lichibi king Sivadeva as far back as the 5th century. In present day, it is one of the largest Buddhist stupa in the world. And the whole surrounding area is a Buddhist populated settlement with over 40 monasteries nearby. A large number of tourist pilgrims as well as local visit the stupa every day, each of their own regions, chanting monk, spinning prayer wheels, flocks of peasants and the smell of incense are just a few factors that make up the unique atmosphere at this location. Kathmandu Darbar Square also known as Hanuman Dhoka Palace. The Kathmandu Darbar Square is one of the three Darbar Square of Kathmandu Valley. This was the old royal palace and courtyard of Mallas and Sahas of Kathmandu with temples and shrines. The main palace complex was constructed as early as 15th century while additional buildings and monuments were added as time went on. The notable things to explore here include the namesake monuments Hanuman Dhoka, Talesu Mandir, 9-story Basantapur Tower, Sundari Chowk, Trivon Museum, King Mahendra Memorial Museum, and Karl Verb Temple in its vicinity. Similar to Kathmandu Durbar, the Patan Durbar Square is the old palace of Kingdom of Patan, or we can say Lalitpur. People believe that the town was named after the King Alambur, as Patan also translates to Ella. It is located around 8 km southeast of central Kathmandu. This palace complex is an excellent showcase of Newari architectures and craftsmanship. The courtyard is dotted with a number of Hindus as well as Buddhist monuments. Historical records have shown that Imperial Asoka built parts of this square way back in 3rd century BCE. The notable places to visit in Pardandarvar Square includes the Mahabodhu Temple, Kumbhasur Temple, Krishna Temple, Golden Temple, Jagat Narayan Temple, Hari Sankar Temple, Vishwanath Temple, Bhimsen Temple, and Rato Machindranath Temple, among others. The Vaktapur Darbar Square is the last of the three old palaces of Kathmandu. Vaktapur, also known as 
Badgaon is a medieval city located around 12 km east of Kathmandu. The Darbar Square here is one of the best showcase of Nepali architectures and craftsmanship. The four square Darbar Square, Taumadi Square, Dattateria Square and Poetry Square collectively make up the Vaktapur Darbar Square. The most notable landmarks and monuments include the Lion Gate, Golden Gate, Art Gallery, Statue of King Bhupatindra, Natapal Temple, which is the tallest temple of Nepal, and 55 windowed Malla Palace. Changunaran Temple, considered as the oldest temple in all Nepal. Changunaran is a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu. It is situated on a high hilltop that is also known as Changu and it's surrounded by forest with a champak tree and a small village known as Changu village. The temple is located around 14 km east of Kathmandu. The stone inscriptions and pillar along the temple and its various statue themselves have recorded it to be built as far back as to the 464 AD. An information center as well as a couple of museums are located in the vicinity if you would like to dwell further into the rich history and fascinating myths of Changunarayan. 